Hello everyone. Welcome back to First Step Tutorials. Today we will be talking about tips for digital painting. Let's get started. I will be explaining 7 tips about digital painting where it makes our work easier and faster. Let's get into the first step. It's called draw straight lines. So before starting the tips, we need a reference file to work on. So I'll be opening a reference file. The digital painting which I was working on previously, which is not completed yet. So I'm using an example here. We need to open the brush tool. I'm choosing black color here. This are the foreground and the background colors. So to draw a straight line, hold down shift and click in the first point and click wherever you want. Second point. It automatically creates the straight line between the two points. So first click and the second click. So wherever you want, you can click and and make sure while you're clicking you're holding shift so this is the first step and let's move on to second step called sample a color so you're be you're too busy in working and you every time you need to pick a color you need to go and select a color from color picker window so instead of this the second tips helps you out with managing your time so with the brush tool selected, hold down Alt, you can see a color picker icon there where you can select the particular color you want and you can start drawing. You can start painting. So this helps you to get the foreground color. You can, As you can see here, the foreground color is now green and I'm picking a color again by holding Alt you can see the foreground color is changing there so this is the second tip guys let's move on to third tip precise painting so before that I'm erasing the data here my bad sorry I'm doing control Z so let's talk about the third tip it's called precise painting so precise painting is nothing but while you're working you can see the brush is too big and it's too small to get the proper point while you're working to draw a hairlines or the eyebrows or something if you want a proper pointer you can use caps lock and you can draw where you want so you know now where is the point and if you're using a circle, you know the only shape. So when you're using a bigger circle, it's fine. When you're using a smaller circle, it's hard to find where are you using. So this is a smaller circle. I want a hair lines. Now you can see there is a pointer. The circle is too small in this window, so I can't use only circle so I, I need a pointer when you need a pointer you press caps lock and you will get a pointer so this is the third tip guys before moving on to next step I request to subscribe and like comment thank you now comes the fourth tip guys cycle through the brushes so I have different type of presets in my brush library at present I'm using this brush as you can see, let me increase the brush size. I'm offing the caps lock. So I have different type of brushes in my presets. So every time I can't go and select from here and I can't go and right click every time. So randomly when you want to, when you, while you're working, while you're painting, if you want to change the brushes, you just need to press comma and dot so as you, you can see here brushes are changing you can see 
comma and dot. So let's move on to fifth tip guys. This, uh, this is called dodge or burn. So there are like I'm changing my uh, brush now. So dodge and burn you can use all, uh, while you paint also. If you when you're using a burn tool and you want to say uh, you want to use a dodge tool as well. So there is a shortcut key called alt. You can hold alt and you can use both tools simultaneously. So for example, I'm using this different color here. I'm choosing a color. Sorry. Two different of type of colors. And I'm selecting a burn tool. So you can see I'm using a burn tool here and I'm holding alt now and you can see the difference now what is happening. So this is the dodge tool and now comes the burn tool again. Now comes the dodge tool. Let's move on to sixth tip change hardness as you probably know the square brackets are the keys to increase the brush size and to decrease the brush size and you probably might don't know you can use shift plus square boxes to change the brush hardness so I'll show you an example here Let me take a new layer. Make a color. So you can see the difference while I use the shift. I'm decreasing and I'm drawing again. Decreasing it again, decreasing it again. So you can see the difference, guys. Here, as I decrease, it creates a smoothness, as I increase, it creates the hardness here. So, this is a sixth tip, guys. Let's move on to seventh tip it's called quick opacity change. So whenever you need to change your opacity, you will be moving on here and you will be changing every time. So instead of moving your cursor out of the artboard, I request to use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 9 in your keyboard. So you can see here I am pressing 1, 2 for 20, 3 for 30, 4 for 40, 5 for 50 like this till 9. You can use 90 and when it when you want to use the opacity of 100 press 0 so this these are the shortcuts to quickly change your opacity while you work on the artboard instead of using uh, in instead of moving your cursor you are just using a keyboard while you use a shortcut so these are the seven tips for the day this helps you to create a faster digital painting and a more easier way and in a more easier way so i request to follow the steps practice and you'll be a professional to create more digital paintings in no time so a extra tip for the day guys if you don't have a paint tablet i request to buy one if you're not into a digital painting, it's okay. If you're into digital painting, you should be having a pen tablet that helps you a lot. But don't own a graphics tablet, you are missing out on a whole new world of creativity. There are plenty of good products online. Entry level tablets are available also. But you, if you want a mid range features that include multi touch input that treats you yourself as a professional and 
I can suggest you a Wacken Intuos 5. That's a good tablet, guys. So I'm suggesting a, with my own experience. So please do check out the link below in the description for the tablet details. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in next week with another awesome video. Please subscribe, like and comment. This is Narendra signing off.